Thank you for joining me in this How to Use Overdrive tutorial. So let's get started. For the first step, click in your browser's address bar and type in the URL eodls.lib.overdrive.com and then hit enter on your keyboard. This will take you to the Overdrive homepage. Now click sign in on the right side. Next, type in your library card number. If you're on a public computer, make sure this box is unchecked, then click sign in. Next, you're back on the Overdrive homepage. Click here to find a link to the EODLS website. Click here to show or hide the collections menu. Click here to view your account. Click here to view helpful tutorials and videos about using OverDrive. You can also contact your local library branch if you need help. Finally, type in here to search for any book, author, audiobook, genre, or keyword. You may notice a banner at the top of the page that lets you know you can now read books directly in your browser. To remove it, click the X. Down here, you will find the Collections menu, which showcases our featured collections, ebook fiction, ebook nonfiction, audiobook fiction, and audiobook nonfiction. To view more titles in that collection or genre, simply click on the name. To view more genres, click View More. Down here, you will find recommended books for you, our new ebook editions, books that are always available, never do, and do not count against your checkout limit. If you shop online, click here before shopping to help your library system buy more ebooks. And click here to visit the help section of the website. And down here, you will find new audiobook editions. Once you find a book to check out, hover your mouse over the title. You can click borrow to borrow the book directly, or sample to read a sample. If the book is checked out, it will say place a hold here instead. Click on this ribbon to add the book to your wish list. Click on this link to share this book with others, and click here to view more information about that title. You'll see much of the same information. You can rate this book once you've read it. In this section, you can view what formats are available for that title. Keep in mind that if you're using a Kindle, Kindle book must be listed here for you to read it. Here you can explore the series and subjects and genres related to that title. Since I would like to borrow this book, I will click Borrow. Now I am taken to the My Bookshelf area that shows all the titles I have checked out. You can click here to download the book to read offline, or click here to read the book directly in your browser. This option does not require any extra software to be installed, but you must be connected to the Internet. Until you download the book to read it offline, you can return it at any time by clicking Return Title. After you download a book, you must return it via your e-reader software or the OverDrive app. In this area, you can also access your holds, in your list such as rated titles and wish lists, and your settings. Keep in mind that you can check out three books at one time, and you can place five titles on hold at one time. If you need to download the OverDrive apps or programs to read or listen to your audiobook or ebook, click here. Once you have finished using OverDrive, go to the top of the page and click Sign Out. That concludes this tutorial. I hope it was helpful, and be sure to check out our other technology tutorials as well.